Hey guys, it's Kami and today we'll talk about how the end of the world limitation is done in Black Desert. So first of all, how this limitation looks like. Let's start with a brief look on the map. As you can see, those edges of the visible map sort of represent current limitation. But be warned that you will firstly need to discover the map in order to see it. So before you do that, your visible part of the map will not represent the end of the world. Now to make it also clear, those visible edges are not perfectly aligned with the actual end of the world. The best example would be this castle below Media. You can see it on the map and you can see it even in the game world, but you cannot actually reach it. Which brings us to the second point. Currently closed parts of the map are actually partially done already. So that undiscovered map that you can see behind the fog and clouds should be somewhat an actual representation of how the final map will look like. You could already see how the actual end of the world looks like in game few seconds ago with that castle. It is simply an invisible wall. Not the most elegant way and it is not a good idea in my opinion. Why so? Is it bad in some way? Actually yes, it is. You can die. Yeah, literally die, if you somehow manage to go through that wall. Now you could argue that it is a good idea because hackers will die? Yes, that's a valid point. But I managed to do that even without hacks. I have talked about that case in Bedou Basics video number 2. You can check it out over there. Note that this border death, or however you want to call it, is actually a bit different than usual death from map bugs. Yeah, if you have never played Black Desert, then you heard it right. There are deaths from map bugs. If you fall from the floor of the map, instead of porting you out of it or something like that, as in all other standard MMOs, in Black Desert you simply die immediately, which will lead to the loss of experience, and after reaching higher levels you will get the idea that it is quite a big deal. Moreover, you can also lose some crystals from your equipment, which is also a big deal if you have some expensive ones. If you thought few seconds ago that it is great and all wall hacks are simply impossible because of it, then probably you have changed your view. But if you haven't already, then when you will die because of it, and you probably will at some point, at least because of sudden water death syndrome, then you will. And if you don't know what is a sudden water death syndrome, then let me explain shortly. In Black Desert, when you jump into the water, and it doesn't really matter if from boat or ground, you have some very tiny chance to die instantly. Your charge just falls skyrocket to the underwater ground and die there. Though if the end of the world edge is not there underwater, then you have a chance to reach ground without death and be able to dive out of it. But that happened to me only once, usually I just die immediately. As for the horizontal end of the world edge, it gives you a few seconds to move out of it if you happen to fall behind it, so if you will try to do that, then make sure that your escape is not on cooldown and be ready to press it immediately, as you will not be able to move even slightly out there. Though I have to say that I have no idea if escape is fast enough, because I managed to move through the horizontal end of the map only once. And I have no plans to do that again, so feel free to test it out if you want so. And finally, what will happen when all currently visible under fog locations on the map will be actually added to the game. Unfortunately, I don't have any info regarding that, but they could possibly make Black Desert 2 or just simply increase the size of the map with addition of one or few more big islands. If their engine is limited to the size of the map, then they can come up with some portal to the other world, which will have its own map of similar size or some transportation ships that can carry you to the other big island with its own map, and so on and so forth. There are lots of different ways that they can come up with, but it all can be narrowed down to Black Desert 2 or current Black Desert expansions. And that decision will most likely depend on how profitable current Black Desert is, as with current pace at which they add locations, whole map will be unveiled a lot faster than this game will be outdated in terms of graphics and features. In any case, that's about it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.